Alan Chadburn Burton was born in London, England in 1904. He was known for his unusual powers of concentration, attributed to the fact that his father ran a dental practice in their home, and he learned to do his homework amidst the playtime shouts of his brothers and sisters and the screams of his father's patients. And he had an obviously a superior intellect. There's no doubt that when you talked with him, you talked with a man who was very clever. He had big bushy eyebrows. He had a booming voice. He had a strong presence in the department. Everybody knew when he was coming through. He had trained in physics in, at Toronto. His mass in physics was in Britain. Came here for his master's and PhD at Toronto. And then he spent uh, many years, uh, he did three different postdocs to immerse himself in the physiological sciences and biophysics. He was doing some research for the Canadian government and, and also for the British government indirectly on what affects how we respond to cold temperatures. And this was key during the war to keep soldiers warm uh, under adverse conditions. The end result was a book called Man in the, in the Cold Environment. It made him internationally famous. And it's through that kind of research that he subsequently decided to study the fundamentals of, of why we shiver and why uh, blood vessels expand or contract. He really made his mark uh, in the area of the biophysics and physiology of the circulation and the fundamental aspects of how the circulation works and how the blood vessels work. It was at the confluence of Dr. Burton's diverse research paths where his major contribution to basic and applied medical research evolved. Now recognized as a founding father of modern biophysics, it was in 1948 that he created and led the first Department of Biophysics in a Canadian medical school at the University of Western Ontario. He was one of the first to try to understand physiological phenomena using a combination of biology and physics. And at the time, those two fields were rather far apart. He was able to take the core principles of physics, conservation of energy related to flow and heat flow and so on, and apply them to really intriguing problems relating to the heart, the circulation, uh, temperature regulation. And he was known for this. This was a new area of science bringing the skills of the physicist mathematician to bear on the problems of biology. Dr. Burton's pioneering work in this new field of biophysics attracted global attention and drew leaders from other scientific specialties to visit and confer with him in this dynamic era of the reshaping of many research disciplines. Many, many great scientists uh, came to visit the Burton department not just biomedical scientists, but other scientists. Dr. Burton was the world's authority on how blood vessels work. So there was a natural link there. One world authority coming to hear from another world authority. He was very interactive with students. He was a hands-on experimentalist. There is no question that he was absolutely an inspirational teacher. The brilliance of Dr. Burton's pioneering interdisciplinary research was matched only by his creativity for making every occasion an opportunity for exploratory discourse. One such regular famous venue was departmental coffee time. We sat around a big table and the conversations would begin. And they had uh, wonderful conversations about all kinds of topics. He was knowledgeable about all, all kinds of topics. And you never knew where they were going might be about some particular issue scientifically that was going on in the lab and he'd begin to act like Socrates in a way you know he would not lead the questioning but he would nudge it along get people thinking that was probably the best educational experience that one could possibly have had uh, he just so enjoyed uh, the uh, the mystery the discovery the uh, the invention of experiments that would uncover uh, key ideas. Sometimes they would disprove the uh, concepts or theories that he had in mind, but he, he just reveled in the notion of discovery. His legacy is the whole field of biophysics. All of this is sort of built on the foundation that he established. You have to be a risk taker, and I think in science he was willing to take risks, and uh, we reap the benefit of those, those gambles. Brilliant multidisciplinary researcher, creative and inspirational teacher and pioneering builder. Ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Dr. Alan Burton.